Hi, I'm Danik and I'm a house fan. You played um, the main stage of Tomorrowland and you yeah. played also the main stage of the Brazilian edition. Yeah. Um, and how far was it different and do you think it's a good trend that big festivals such as um, TML or Ultra spread all over the world nowadays? That's a good question. Um, I mean, you see that a lot that Ultra is going to Europe and, you know, the other way around. Um, it's, I think it's a good thing, but on the other hand, like, I would love to see, like, countries uh, setting up their own festivals in their own way. You know, because now there are a lot of people that have a lot of power and they're involved and they want to see, like, they have a lot of power so they can, like, bring all the, the their own DJs to the festivals they want to book. And I think, like, for Brazilian people, it's maybe it's interesting to have Brazilian DJs as well on the lineup. And I think that's something we should uh, definitely look out for for the next years. We've seen um, Dimitri Vegas, like Mike Dick, were kind of struggling to get the crowd in Brazil to do a sit down. Yeah. Do you think there's like a big difference in the crowd? Like I when think you there's, a, there's a big language barrier, and of course, uh, like Tomorrowland is so popular that some sometimes people are actually visiting the festival or even like a festival for the first time, and it's Tomorrowland for them because I can name a, f a festival in Brazil, so. I think it's all so new for them and that that is really hard to uh to get the same energy from what you see on the on the YouTube videos in Belgium to get it in Brazil. But on the other hand, like I played the main stage and yeah, I had a really, really good time. I yeah. think it was nice set by the way. Oh thank you. Yeah, no the the, the Latin Latin American crowd is, is really, really good and uh actually really educated. I didn't know that. <laughs> Next question. Um, so, you've confirmed lately that you're working on your own label, yeah. um, which is supposed to launch this year, as far as I know. Um, can you tell us more about this? Uh, yeah. Well, that's I actually you <laughs> answered the question. That's the only thing I can tell you. Um, we're working on it, and we're trying to, uh, yeah, to 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 come up with uh, the name, of course. You don't have it. You don't know. You have a name yet. It's all. It's all like, yeah. We're all in the in the first phase almost. Any artists that you're looking to sign? Uh, well, actually, uh, we did sign a few artists, or actually sign, it's not really uh, formal, but um, Tom and Jamo are one, one of the guys that, uh, that I supported from the first time. Uh, Mido, a guy from Sweden, um, and um, I'm forgetting a few names, but there are a few, few guys that I'm supporting from the beginning, and they will definitely uh, release on my album, or my new label okay we're looking forward to that since your day job um, used to be marketing management is that correct yeah yeah okay <laughs> um, how important do you think is good marketing for a DJ in 2015 well nowadays like everyone's on the internet and there are a lot of DJs upcoming DJs so it's really important to 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 you know get yourself out there and keep yourself on top of mind with people and uh, what I what I noticed like in 2015 is like when you release a song on Monday the next Monday it's already old at least you know, some people are already screaming like where is the next song coming and uh, that's some that's like a trend that it's uh on the other on the other hand it's interesting because you know you you feel a kind of a pressure to keep releasing tracks every every month almost but on the other hand it's really difficult and i think marketing is one of the the yeah the main reasons or the main uh, how do you say that points to, to, to keep up with because uh, we have a lot of social media which is evolving um, so if you it's not only about the artist anymore you have to be like a brand it's like you're branding yourself uh, we have uh, merchandise we have yeah our socials people actually can see in my life a little bit with my front of house TV and what I have on YouTube I mean for me it's still about the music that music is my passion that's why I do it because because yeah I love music But um, marketing is definitely uh, something I uh, I love to do as well, and what yeah, what's very really important. Do you have influence on Danix marketing, or do you just let the the agency do all no, that no, stuff? No, I I it's my own company. Like Danix is my own brand, so uh, 
I'm, I'm like the <laughs> chief <laughs> director of, uh, of Danik Productions and uh, my management is uh, obviously is assisting me and helping me. Uh, and of course they, they have some ideas, but I'm still like the, the, the guy that does all the, yeah, uh, how do you say that? That makes all the, <laughs> all the rules. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. So, so you're doing your own thing. I'm doing my own thing. I mean, that's, yeah, everything you see is, uh, is what, I, uh, what I do. Got one last question um, from me. One, um, what do you think about female DJs in the scene and why is there such a big lack of female DJs and anything you want to say about female DJing, no, you go. I love, I love female DJs. I think it looks really good uh, behind the decks. Um, there are a lot of good female DJs, actually, like, for instance, Helena from Australia. She's actually really talented. She makes her own music. She DJs and she DJs really good. Uh, besides that, we have like some techno DJs in, in Netherlands that are playing since like 20 years already. So it's not a new thing, but like we also like the Paris Hilton thing on on all the the blogs and stuff. And that's actually like a pain in the ass for the the real female DJs in the mm -hmm. scene. But yeah, I'm definitely a supporter of the, the female DJs. That's about it. But can we expect like some new ideas tonight here at Boat's House? Yeah, well, actually, I just came out of the studio. Uh, so and I finished like three tracks. Uh, so maybe I'm going to play. Oh, that sounds exciting, right? Thank you so much for your time. Thanks. Thank you. That's good. All right.